Okay, everyone, Allison here again. Um, this is part two of our seated series of hip stretches. Doing these little bite-sized videos um, so that you can choose to do them in pieces. You can do them in a series. So if you haven't seen part one, you don't have to go back, but you can if you like. Um, but I'm just going to kind of build on what happened before. Yes, or the last video was um, from a seated cross-legged position, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, I have here my yoga mats. Actually, I have two on top of each other. Um, if you don't have one, that's fine. You can put down a towel. You can even just do it on the rug. Um, I have a bolster here to sit on. You can also use no bolster. You could use a wrapped up um, towel. A folded blanket, you could sit on a block, um, whatever you like to feel comfortable. So today what we're going to do is we're going to start out with our legs straight out in front of us. And so I like to sit on the edge of a bolster or a folded blanket or whatnot. It just helps my um, pelvis have a nice kind of anterior tilt, helps me to sit up taller, pull away the flesh of the buttocks to really get grounded in those sit bones and just settle into what feels kind of even and supported for you. And as always, um, begin my sessions by saying that nothing should ever cause you pain that we do here. And so if something isn't working for you um, today or any day, um, I invite you to modify. If I don't offer a modification that suits you, you can skip what we're doing together and try something different, go to another video or just skip what we're doing currently and wait for the next thing. So that being said, when you find a comfortable seat, maybe sitting up tall, maybe connect with the breath for a moment as you elongate the spine, chin is slightly tucked and we have this kind of nice long line of energy from the sits bones up through the crown of the head. Hands can be on the thighs, side do if you want to sit in more of a staff or dandasana pose for those of you that are familiar, you can do that as well. And just kind of take a moment to arrive on the mat and get comfortable. Again, connecting with the breath. Bring the toes back up towards the face. I have the ball mounts of the toes touching. Heels are a little bit apart. And on an inhale, let's go ahead and bring the arms up overhead, reaching up out of the waist. So even though I say that these are hip stretches, we're really warming up a lot of the body in, in these movements. So if it feels good on your neck to look up, reach up. Plugging all 10 fingers into the sky, bringing your head forward. We'll just come over for our first gentle forward fold. Come as far or as you know, straight up as feels good for you. If you don't want to come very far and you're already feeling it, say in your hamstrings or in the glutes, then you can just rest your hands wherever you like. If you want and you have a block, you can rest your hands on the block. If you're feeling um, a little more mobility today, you can come forward and grab the two big toes. The back is flat, so I'm looking forward, but not cranking the head backwards. So gaze is a little bit of forward of the mat. You want to pull up on the heels with the big toes. If you're up here, just go ahead and roll the shoulders away from the ears. The movement is really coming from hinging at the waist with the flat back. So we'll start here. If you want to come up again and reset, you can. If you want to use the arms overhead or just simply come forward, forward, forward. If you're feeling like you want to take it further, you can place a block in front of your feet and clasp your hands around the block as well. Whatever feels good. Um, if you'd like to use a strap, which I actually didn't bring here. <laughs> You can loop a strap or a bathrobe tie or whatnot around the ball mounts of the feet as well and use that for traction. So just make it feel good. 
And again, this is just the first movement in the day or the last, be gentle. Um, find that kind of easy edge where there's an opening, but it's not stressing you out. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and come up. So let's take the left foot to start. We'll go ahead and bring it close into the body, heels close to the groin here, and then go ahead and let it open up to the side. If you're propped up on a blanket or a bolster, come forward a little bit. Um, your knee may not come all the way to the floor. That's totally fine. If it feels like it's out in space, um, you can support it with, again, a block. If you don't have a block, a pillow, rolled up towel, whatnot. And you know, one side might be different than the other. One day might be different from the other. So just honor where you're at. You want this to feel comfortable and stable um, before we come forward. And again, flexing this elongated leg, the right foot back at the face helps to stabilize and protect the knee. So lifting the arms up overhead, just like we did a minute ago. If you'd like to look up, and then coming forward slowly. You can even walk your hands out if it feels more stable for you than just having your arms out. And then you can walk all the way to wherever it feels comfortable again. Careful not to crank the neck. And really anchoring back into the sit zone. So even though we're coming forward, we're grounding in, in the pelvic bowl here. And again, let it feel good. If you'd like to clasp the hands around the feet, you still do that with a flat back. So for these first few, we're not rounding, we're just flat back, um, really feeling the core stabilize you. You can envision the action of the belly button moving back towards the spine. Again, if you'd like to clasp your hands around the block and you're feeling that, you can do that as well. Staying here for just another breath or two. And then slowly walking back up to seated. We'll be roll the shoulders back and down a few times so that feels good. And we'll go ahead and bring this back here. So it's sitting up tall, bringing that heel in towards the body. I'm gonna clasp the hands around the knee, and clasp the elbows, as long as we're able to keep that upright in the spine. Again, if you need to readjust the props under your hips, go ahead and do so. And this time we're gonna lift both arms up towards the sky and then gently twist to the left. So you can either Kind of wrap the hand around the outside of the left thigh. The right hand's behind you, either pressing down on the mat, pick up flat palm or on the bolster, whatever is more comfy. You can really hook the elbow around, or you can hook the elbow on the outside of that left thigh. But wherever you're at, flexing those right toes back towards you, sitting up tall, and then with each inhale, we grow a little bit taller. With each exhale, just gentle twist. Slowly bring the gaze over the left shoulder to wherever it feels comfortable. Pausing here for three or four nice deep inhales and exhales. So again, we're not only waking up the hips, we're waking up the hamstrings, waking up the spine. When that feels complete, slowly unwind, coming back to center. Bring the left foot to meet the right. Maybe give them a little shake. You can windshield wiper the legs. If you're feeling extra stiff, you can lean back and bring your feet to the edges of your mat and windshield wiper the knees like that. Just kind of reset. And then once again, coming back to that original position and sitting up tall. And this time, let's go ahead and plant the right foot, bringing it in 
tugging it towards the body, either fastening the hands around the shins, elbows, and sitting up tall, and remembering kind of rolling the shoulders down and away from the ears. And sit with this for a moment. And when you're ready, we'll kind of open up this knee to the side. And again, one side may be different from the other. Your knee might not come all the way to the floor. Make sure you feel supported. Sometimes too, it's coming to the, the edge of the bolster can help do that too. And you can also fold up a towel or a blanket or bolster. So be creative. And the main thing is creating that stability, especially in the space so that we can reach up out of the spine, flexing the left toes back towards the face and slowly coming forward as far as feels good. When you feel like you've come down as far as you'd like to go, you can go ahead and drop the hands, pressing into the mat or propping up on a block. You can tent the fingers. And I invite you to play with different uh, ways of being different postures every day and see what works. Again, I can't stress it enough that what works one day may not the next. And as you kind of warm up or find maybe a little bit more viability, you might want to take the block away if your knee has come down. Or you might want to add support if you didn't have it before. So staying here, breathing. And as you're ready, slowly come up to seated, bringing the knee back in towards the midline, readjusting if you need to. We're going to come into that gentle seated twist. So sitting up tall, bringing that foot back in towards the body, and go ahead and raise both arms overhead. And on an exhale, gently twisting to the right this time. Again, the spine is long, reaching up out of the pelvic bowl. You can either uh, clasp the outside of the right knee with the palms, flip it around your elbow, or else you're going to use the elbow on the outside of the right knee for traction to gently help you to twist to the right. Again, the action is growing taller with each inhale and twisting a little bit further with each exhale, gazing over towards the left shoulder, or right shoulder, excuse me. Even the eyeballs going to the right. Remembering to keep those left toes flexed back towards the body, stabilizing the knee, protecting. And as you're ready, bringing both arms back up, center, and back in. Go ahead and straighten the legs. We'll come forward with both legs elongated another time just to see how that feels compared to their first round. So arms up overhead and shoulders reaching down away from the ears and coming forward flat back as far as you would like. We're pausing wherever you would like as well. And again, using props. Cool thing about these blocks is you can put them on lots of different settings. There's the tall, the medium, and the lower. So, and again, if you don't have them, there's so many things you can improvise around the house or um, wherever you are, stack of books, notebooks. Um, I've used all kinds of substitutions. Again, if you want to grab big toes, pulling them back towards the face, that feels good, lifting the heels off the ground. When you're ready, walking slowly back up. This time we're going to bring both feet together. This is called Baddha Konasana, the butterfly. 
And depending on your body, how you're feeling today, um, again, you want to focus on sitting up tall. So if you find that you're hunched, you can move the ankles farther away from the body, or if you want to bring them close in and get situated, if you need to adjust your pillow, if you have one, or take it away. And again, so it's all about support. This is kind of acting on the adductors, the inner thighs, but it's all connected. <laughs> the mobility in the hips depends on lots of other things besides just the glutes and the hip flexors. So again, you can prop the knees up for support. And then if you're needing to come all the way down, then take them away. And just sitting up nice and tall. You can either rest your palms here, face down, face up. You want to bring hands to prayer position. And just pausing for a moment. Again, reaching that spine long from the top of the crown of the head. You may notice your knees start to feel heavier with each breath or after a few moments. And I invite you, I'm going through this rather quickly so that it can be kind of bite-sized for you, but you can stay in any of these poses as long as you like. Um, in fact, you know, if you stay, say 90 minutes or more, or excuse me, 90 seconds or more, uh, it starts to act on the connective tissue, that myofascial tissue, over um, then rather than just stretching the muscles and the skin. So that's that can evolve into something different. But anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed this short video. Uh, if you like it, please like and subscribe. Make any comments um, below in the comment section. And the next part of our hip opener is going to be on the knees. And so I look forward to coming back to you again. Again, my name is Allison. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks.